Hey, Jeff Wickersham, here's where it all began. I lost my mom to cancer four and a half years ago. Ever since, it's been my mission to inspire and lead. It's Mother's Day, it's windy, it's wet, it's raining out. I had to just get out and say hello to her. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your morning fun. Boom! Good morning, good morning, Jeff Wickersham. Episode number 218. Today's topic is this, putting blinders on. So I'm continuing with that theme of the week of that dash, that dash that's in between your, your, the date you were born and the date you die. And I talked about how you have to have family time, those deep connections with your family, how you need to work on yourself, how you need to reach out to friends and have these deep social connections and they're, they're a key to longevity. And you know, in today's society, in today's you know, tech world, we have so many different distractions and things that can kind of throw us off our, our game. And today's topic is all about putting blinders on, where I definitely want you to connect. I want you to work on yourself. I want you to spend time with friends. But there's also a time if you want to have that amazing dash that we all want to have, where you need to put blinders on. And I don't know if you're, you're a horse racing fan and, and blinders really get put on a horse so, so they don't get distracted by anything out you know, to the side in, in their peripheral vision. And they can only focus on what's straight ahead. And I know personally, I have definitely had issues with this in the past three plus years when I've gone on this you know, entrepreneurial endeavor and, and started my own business and, and I've got real estate properties with my brother and, and I've always got these ideas and, and I know it drives my wife nuts when I say I've got a new idea. Drives her bonkers, she rolls her eyes, she supports me but she just wants me to be focused and I am definitely getting more focused where I actually have a sheet of paper that I hold now at my desk and, and it was due to a coffee, a cup of coffee that I had with a, uh, a buddy of mine uh, a couple weeks ago. And I had mentioned this yesterday. That's why it's so important to have these social connections with friends and with colleagues and, and fellow entrepreneurs, if, if you're an entrepreneur, because you're going to get ideas and you're going to get information. Same thing with that personal work. Here's, here's another piece to the puzzle where you can get ideas and, and you know, new topics that you can discuss or figure out or, or uncover. So I have a piece of paper that I keep at my desk and it, it lays out three goals for the next six months. So the remainder of 2019. And the number one goal is I'm going to purchase four more properties with my brother. So that will allow for some cash flow to be coming in in that business, uh, alleviate some stress from a financial perspective on my family, more, more importantly on myself. And that is a target. And I've got it sitting at my computer. I visually see it every day. And you know what? It's actually above my doorway when I leave my office. So I've got two visual identifiers. It's always there. I see it. It's top of mind. Right? Blinders on. Nothing else matters but these three goals. I've got to stay focused. Goal number two. Launch six morning fire boot camp workshops. So there's going to be coming out shortly in the next couple weeks where I'm going to actually take people through the methods to my madness and going to bed and being prepared for the day ahead and waking up with power and energy. That's, that's goal number two in the next six months. And then goal number three is hit a rolling revenue at, at my studio of 16K. I need to do that to be able to provide for my family, provide security. Those are my three targets. I have those blinders on to focus on them. It doesn't mean I stop spending time with my family. It doesn't mean I stop reaching out to people, my friends, my colleagues, people I want to meet and bounce ideas off of to have a cup of coffee or lunch. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop working on myself on a daily basis in the morning, all that personal development. But you need to stay focused. You need to have those blinders on, just like the horses do in the Kentucky Derby or the Preakness or the Belmont Stakes. Because they got to be focused. You need to do the same. Because your phone, text messages, 
Facebook Messenger, email, all these distractions that require your attention throw you off your game. They throw you off your focus. I've struggled with that. And I'm trying to work to get better. I'm a work in progress. I need to do it on a, on a daily basis. I need to schedule time in my calendar where I'm doing specific tasks that relate back to those three goals that I just, just spoke about. That's my focus. Those are my, I've got the blinders on. And, and I know that that is going to help catapult me to reaching those three goals. Having those blinders on, having that focus, having those visual identifiers in my office is going to set me up for success. You know, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. I spoke of that before. John Wooden, famous quote. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. I'm preparing for success because I have these out. So if you feel like you, you, you're not making any progress in your life, you feel like you're running a million miles a minute, or you're a chicken with their head cut off running around, put on those blinders. Think of yourself as, as a thoroughbred racehorse that needs to get those blinders on so you can sprint to that finish line. Sprint to your goals, and that'll make you more successful. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening. If you want to follow me out on Instagram, Jeff underscore Wickersham, follow me on social media. You'll get behind the scenes look at what I do on a daily basis. Rise, fight, love, repeat. Get after it, and I'll talk to you soon.